I thought to make another video to follow up on the previous one about transform deformers. I have the same scene as in the previous video, with the exception that I have deleted the top mover locator and the bottom mover locator, and this time I'm going to create the same scene with transform effectors, with that difference being that now I'm going to work with weight maps and that I can have different values for the weights instead of a value of one for all the selected vertices. So first I'm going to select my sphere, I'm going to the front view, I'm going to vertices, select the top vertices like that, going to shade it and set it to vertex map. I apparently already have created these. I'm going to lists, vertex map, bottom weight and top weight. I'm going to delete them for now. So selected, uh, I'm going to new map and I'm going to call this top weight, like that. Shift W for my weight tool, click model for my model and I have my vertex map weight because of the shift W. Right now it's set to 1. I want to set it to 0.3. It's 30%. Click in the viewport. Narrow my selection. 0.6 for 60%. Click in the viewport. Narrow my selection. 0.8. Click in the viewport. And again, narrowing my selection. And 1. Click in the viewport and this is my top weight. Again, I'm going to create a new map for my bottom weight, so I'm going to rename this bottom weight. I'm going to select these vertices, shift W, again for my model functions, shift W, vertex map weight, again 0.3, click in the viewport, narrowing selection, 0.6, click in the viewport, you get the idea, I think. Narrow the selection, 0.8, click in the viewport, narrowing the selection, and 1, click in the viewport. Close this panel, click in the viewport to deselect everything, going back to shade it, so now I have my weight maps, and with the mes mesh selected, in the Commands tab, Deformers tab, press Transform. I'm going to drag it into the schematic view, like that. You see it has a yellow circle. When I middle-click on it, you see it has my Transform General Influence. When I go select it and go to Properties over here, then I can set it to Weight Map, and I'm going to select for this one the top weight so I could when I select this one I could call it top transform effector for clarity like that and then the same thing for the bottom one select my mesh click transform over here in the command tab deformers tab pull this transform effector into the schematic view middle click on the yellow circle, select my general influence, set my type to weight map, it already had been done because I had done it before but I did not revert to my scene so they are already there and this should be the bottom weight, that's correct, so this is the top weight, I see top weight, this is the bottom weight, bottom weight, okay, I'm going to rename this bottom transform effector for clarity reasons. So right now I have the exact same setup as in my previous video with that difference being that I'm not working with weight containers which contains the value which contains the vertices with all with a value of one but now because I'm working with weight maps I have 
can modulate between the values of the weight maps. So now when I select my master mover, press W, you see I can move it, rotate it, scale it, and when I select my top transform effector, going to channels, uh, I'm going to add a rotation and add a scale, select the position through the scale, press the C key for my channel hall so I can uh, move it like that, rotate it, scale it just like in the previous video and the last thing I need to do is check the deformers tab over here and right now I see that my transform for my master control for my master locator is not at the top so I already know that this is going to cause problems I'm going to select first my control locator press the E key to rotate and you see, I don't know if it's very clear on the screen but it actually does deform the mesh and that should not happen I think it actually does transform you see when I move it it's, it's clearer this should not happen so this is not my intention and so I have to pull this transform general influence to the bottom of the stack because I believe it's being evaluated from the bottom to the top so it's actually on top in the list but it's actually evaluated last as I if, if I'm correct and you see when now I move my master locator everything stays as a whole or in other words it's not being deformed so when I choose my I select my bottom transform effector again I have only position so I'm going to add rotation add scale I'm going to click in the viewport to deselect everything select this one again so I'm going to control click these XYZ channels for the rotation position and scale press the C key and again I can manipulate this as I want I think I've gone a bit too far with some of the values but anyway spacebar to deselect I'm going to select my master control when I move this you see it is being moved as a whole it's not being deformed as it should so as I've explained in the previous video my setup was kind of like working with a transform effector but I had set up everything manually by adding loca locators general influences and weight containers and here in this scene I have selected the mesh and clicked transform I did not need to select this mesh when it was selected it would not have been added but I could have done it manually over here in the schematic view and as you see no weight containers because the mesh the general influences properties over here are wa working on weight maps and that's why now there is more of a modulation between the vertices because as you've seen I've created the weight maps with different values where the weight containers add all a value of one so now when I move this in the Y see it's more smoothly where with the weight container in the previous scene all the vertices over in on the top stayed together because they all had a value of one but again so no parenting going on over here except the group locators but they don't do uh, net, not being animated or deformed they do they don't contribute to deformation or to animation so this is just for clarity purposes so actually uh, nothing has been uh, parented I'm, I am going to parent it over there 
these locators again so when I close this my scene stays tidy but this locator is not adding the deformation translation results in deformation so this is not being translated this is locked this is just for clarity reasons nothing being parented, parented and in the deformers tab the order is important so bye for now hope it helps